In the book, I talk a lot about leaning into the pain. Uh, quite often, we know what the right thing to do is, but it seems difficult. We're afraid to do it. It seems unnatural. And I experienced that as a prisoner of war, and that's one of the reasons I, I think that's so important is that I learned from that that you have to lean into the pain. You can't always do what feels good and natural and easy. You can't always take the easy way out. In fact, most often, the difficult decisions and the difficult choices are the right ones, and we have to lean into the pain. And that occurred for me when I was uh, being interrogated and they wanted me to fill out a biography of my life experience, my military experience, and all that sort of stuff, background information, and I refused to do it. Well, of course, when you refuse to do things that the captors want you to do, then they they take offense to that and they had felt like they had to punish me and they had to torture me to provide the information, which they did. And that was a very difficult time. The hardest part for me was eventually I couldn't handle it anymore. And so I agreed to do something, but I was still mentally in the fight. And this was part of our guidance from our leaders was, you know, we resist them, take torture to resist. But at some point you have to you'll have to give in because you won't be able to resist anymore. But you don't want to become a bowl of jelly in their hands where you do whatever they want you to do. So you stop short of losing your ability to stay in the fight. But even then, knowing that I had, you know, put up the good fight and done my best, uh, I felt like a traitor. I mean, I'm laying on the floor in this filthy room, you know, in handcuffs and now in leg irons. And uh, I feel like the weakest worst soldier, military, aviator that's ever worn the uniform because I feel like I've let my country down, my teammates down, myself down, my own values. Of course, later, uh, because of the support network and the covert communications we had and my cellmates, uh, they encouraged me and said, hey, we've been there, same thing happened to us, you know, bounce back, be resilient. Uh, and that was important to know that uh, they stood beside me, they understood, they had been through the same thing, and uh, I was okay. I wasn't going to be court-martialed when I came home. And that was a very difficult time, but I learned a lot from that. You just sometimes, to, to do the right thing, you have to press in to your zone of discomfort uh, and stick by your values and commitments. <laughs>